This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can design these three simple snowflake icons using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll minimize this and get started here in Inkscape. By the way, if you'd like to know how you can make Inkscape appear darkened with these custom icons, a link to that information will be in the description of the video. So the first thing we want to do here in Inkscape is make sure that we have the view set to custom. And we'll zoom in at one to one. We'll open up the align and distribute menu with that button up here. We're going to want last selected chosen from this drop down. And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu. So the first snowflake design I'm going to create is this one here on the left. So to create that one, uh, first we'll go to the stars and polygons tool, which is over here. And in this toolbar up here, we're going to want star selected. We're going to want six corners spoke ratio 0 0.375 and then rounded and randomized both set to zero and once we've done that we could hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag on the canvas to create a star like this we're going to want it positioned like this not with the not with the points going vertically like that we're going to want it the the uh we're going to want it like that okay and what i'll do is i'll take the opacity of that and bring that down in half i'll go back to the select tool I'll right click that and go to duplicate, turn that copy red, then I'll hold control and shift and scale this in about that much. We'll leave that there for now. And the next thing I'm going to create is the, uh, the little legs of the, uh, the snowflake here, I guess you can call it. So I'll grab the squares and rectangles tool and I'm just going to click and drag to create a rectangle going over the center of this thing like that. And then I'll take this little circle node up here at the top and I'll just bring that down as far as it'll let you go in order to have rounded rounded edges like that. And then uh, we go back to the select tool. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate. And I'll turn that green. And then click on it again to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and grab this bottom right arrow and rotate this around one two, three, three steps like that. And then I want to take this and put this up here like that. Maybe right about there. And then I'll right click that and go to duplicate. I'll flip that horizontally with this button up here and I'll hold control and just click and drag this over to the left over here like that. And what I'm going to do now is hold shift and click on the other green shape and group them both together with that button here. Group selected objects and I'll hold shift and click on the red shape and click on the button over here that says center on the vertical axis just to make sure that they're centered and evenly spaced apart and then we can click the ungroup button to ungroup them click off of everything to deselect and I'm going to take this red rectangle right click that, go to duplicate hold shift, click on the green stripe over here and go to path uh, difference and then path break apart and then hold shift and click on this piece right here, this little green object. Click on that to deselect it. And you should just have this object selected. And just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We'll click, we'll click on this uh, red rectangle, right click it, go to duplicate. Hold shift, click on the green object. And go to path, difference, and then path, break apart. Hold shift, click on this green object, deselect it, and then press delete on the keyboard. Then we could take, click on that green object, hold shift, click on the other green object, and unify them together by going to path, union. And then we're going to want to duplicate them. So we'll right click that and go to duplicate. And I'm going to flip them vertically with this button up here. Flip selected objects vertically and hold control on the keyboard and just click and drag this down to this side. And what I'll do now is I'm going to hold shift and click on the red object. And I'll right click them and go to duplicate. And I'm going to take this duplicated copy and just put that over here. We're going to use that for the other snowflake in a minute. So what I want to do now is click on this green object, then hold shift and click on this green object and unify them both together by going to path, union, and then hold shift and click on the red rectangle and make sure they're centered on the horizontal axis like that. And then with them still selected, we can unify them together by going to path, union. And I'm just going to make that green for now so you can see it up against everything else. And then I'll hold shift and click on the, the uh, large black star in the background. Make sure it's centered on the vertical and horizontal axis like that. 
and we can click off of it to deselect everything. And now I'm going to click on just this green object and I'm going to right click it and go to duplicate. And then I'll click on it again to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and take this top right arrow and just rotate this around one, two, three, four, four steps like that. <clears throat> then I'll duplicate it again, right click, duplicate, get back to the rotation handles, hold control, one, two, three, four, and there you go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this red star in the center, hold shift, click on the black star behind it, and go to path difference. And then I'll click and drag over the whole thing and go to path union. Bring the opacity of that all the way up and we could pick a shade of blue to make this thing, whatever color you'd like. Just go with blue, something like that. And there we have our first snowflake. So I'm just gonna hold control and shift and scale that down and move that out of the way. Uh, next I'm gonna create this snowflake over here to the right, which we can use this over here. So let's take this <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna flip that vertically click off of it to deselect everything. I'm going to click on this green object, right click it, go to duplicate, hold control and just move this down to about here. And then I'll unify them together by holding uh, holding shift and clicking on the other one and then unify them together by going to path union. And then I'll right click that and go to duplicate and I'll flip that vertically then hold control and move this one down here like that. And then I want to hold shift and click on the other green set of objects so we have them both selected. We'll go to path, union, and then I'm going to hold shift and click on the red object and just make sure it's centered on the horizontal axis and then unify them together by going to path, union. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click that and go to duplicate, click on it again to get the rotation handles and hold control and rotate it around one, two, three, four, four steps like that. Then I'll right click that and go to duplicate, hold control, one, two, three, four, click and drag over all of it, go to path, union, bring the opacity all the way up and I'll hold control and shift and scale this one down as well. And I'll make it the same color this is by just pressing F7 on the keyboard to get the dropper. Or if F7 doesn't work, the dropper icon's over here down on the left. Click on that. Make that the same shade, go back to the select tool, and scale that down a little more. And there's our sn second snowflake. And finally, we will create the one in the center here. And to do that, I'm going to grab the stars and polygons tool again. This time we want polygons selected, six corners, and everything how it is from previously. And then hold control and shift and click and drag to create this polygon. We're going to want the corners going vertically like that. And I'll bring the opacity of this down in half. Go back to the select tool, right click that, go to duplicate, and I'll just make this copy red. And hold control and shift and scale it in about that much. That's pretty good. Then I'll hold shift and click on the blue shape behind it and go to path, difference. And then I'll come up here and turn on the snap to cusp nodes tool. Then, when I wanna, then I want to grab the bezier pen, which is over here, or you can just press B on the keyboard. And we're going to draw a shape. We're going to start at this top left corner and click and come over to this corner and click, and then this corner, and then to this inside corner, and then to this inside corner, and over here, and then back to the starting point to create that shape. And I'll just make that red. I'll get rid of that black outline by holding shift and clicking on this X down here. And I'm gonna bring the opacity of that down in half as well. And we'll go back to the select tool. And I'm just gonna click and drag this object down here to snap to that corner. Right click that, go to duplicate, I'll flip that vertically and put this one up here. Might want to move these out of the way. Then I'll take this, right click that, go to duplicate, bring it over here, click on it again to get the rotation handles and hold control and bring it around to one, two, three, four, four steps and snap that over there. And uh, I'll right click that, go to duplicate. I will flip that horizontally snap this over to this corner and then we can hold shift and click on the one opposite of it right click it go to duplicate flip it uh, vertically and then just snap these ones down here like that and then we can click and drag over all of those and go to path union and uh, I'm just gonna hold control and shift and scale this down a little bit and finally we're gonna create a rectangle 
We could turn off the snap to cusp nodes now. I'm going to create a rectangle going through the center of it like that. I will make the corner sharp by clicking on that button. We don't want rounded corners for that one. We'll go back to the select tool and make that a little thinner like that. And click and drag over both of them and just make sure they're centered on the vertical and horizontal axis and then click off it to deselect everything. Now I'll click on just the red rectangle, right click that, go to duplicate, click on it a second time to get the rotation handles and hold control on the keyboard and rotate this one, two, three, four, four steps. Right click it, duplicate it again, hold control, one, two, three, four, like that. Click and drag over all of it, go to path, Union, bring the opacity all the way up. And now we have our three different snowflakes. So that's pretty much how you can do that with Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.